to Fatima's Art Show. Today I'm going to show you the beautiful process of paper making and um, it's a really nice process that has been done for many many years but today I'm going to show you how you can make paper at home so the really nice easy simple way of make, making paper at home and you can make many different types of variations um, and have fun really and enjoy making paper so um, so let's get started with what you will need to do this project you will need here I've got a paper mold that I've done with um, some frames you can buy a paper mold from the shops but um, if you don't want to buy a paper mold, you can just make one out of a picture frame. So here I've got two picture frames and I'll show you how to do that. Also, you will need some scrap paper. Um, here I've got some newspaper and just some plain um, copy paper that I've just cut into pieces. You can shred it and you can use that. Also, you will need some water of course to do this project a sponge tissue paper and also a towel a blender to blend it all up of course um, so I've got that as well and I've got a nice tray as well so I can put everything in these are all the things you'll need so let's get started with the project first of all I just want to talk about how I did my paper mold um, it's a really easy mold to do. Um, all I did is I removed um, the inside bit of the picture frames. So I got two picture frames and I removed the inside bit of both of them. So the paper and the, the glass and also the bit at the back. All I did was get some of the garden netting that I had lying around and I, put, I stuck it on the outside, cut it so that it fits the size of the frame and you can use glue gun or a, sta a staple gun to staple it all the way around so you've got it all the way around with the second one just take everything out and you don't need to do anything else like i said you can buy the paper mold but here i've just kind of made it so yeah but to make paper you need something called paper pulp and to make paper pulp you just get a blender i've used this before as you can see i've got bits of white uh, pink um, paper stuck inside but that's fine I really don't mind that and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in some of the newspaper into my blender so some of the newspaper and paper into my blender and then I'm going to pour in a jug of water inside the blender there you go as you can see I got my nice jug of water covering my newspaper and my paper. Cover the lid. And I've just got an old blender at home. It's a bit messy, but hey, I just use this for art purposes, so it's fine. And um, I'm just gonna put the blender on. So here I've got blender. So um, I'm just gonna hold it, blend it. So you just want to go like that and you just want to hold it in place make sure you hold it firmly in place don't let it go and then you just want to pour it on the top there you go and you just want to kind of give it a little shake and you just get rid of all the excess water just let it drip down I mean there are different ways of doing paper making you can kind of scoop it in and put the pulp initially in the tray and then scoop your mold to capture all the pulp or you could do it the way I did it just now so you just want to keep giving it a good shake so at this stage of the game you can add anything you want on the paper you can add glitter you can add a bit of ink on the top you can add a bit of paint you can add dried uh, flowers you can add all sorts of different things on the paper so it's really up to you here i'm just adding some flowers some dried flowers that i have okay. 
So I've got some nice bits of flowers in there. You want to remove it. I'm just going to put some paper towels there, turn it upside down, and I'm going to try to get rid of all the excess water. Don't worry too much about the sides, you can just trim those off at the end. Now I've got my paper and it's made, you can see it's nice one big block and now I just need to wait for it to dry. So here's my paper, it's finished and now it just needs drying, you can leave it to dry overnight. If you want to speed up the process you can put it in between towels and just give it a good iron to get rid of all the water and dry it quicker. Here I've tried some with some sharpening, you can see um, I've got some, paper, some pencil sharpening and I've just kind of put it on the paper. As you can see I've used some scrap pink paper for this one and also with this one I have used some nice glitter as you can see on the surface and it's given it a nice shiny look. So thank you very much for watching my episode once again and I hope this has helped you understand the process of paper making and of course um, with uh, paper making you can use the tra traditional wood pulp to make paper or you can use sort of cotton and all sorts of different things to make paper not necessarily this way this way is kind of a recycled method I call it a recycled method of making paper thank you very much for watching subscribe to my channel click the like button and um, if you have any comments comment in the comment section. Thank you, bye bye.